uh, so we don't know what all the check engine lights are. Things got and it's kind of doing a flash, flash, flash. I don't know. Anyways, it works. So we're going and down, down. Here we go. Right, the steering wheel's halfway straight. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Welcome back to the channel. We got a S2000 right here. Picked this thing up the other day in uh, Georgia from uh, a new friend, Walt from Boosted Dreams Garage. And uh, got it pretty cheap. It's, 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 as you can see, it's, it is not the greatest S2000. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't look bad on camera. I'll get this thing out in a little bit. We'll check it all out. It does have a hard top. I'm going to have to order a glass for it. Uh, I believe the glass is good right here. Interior is pretty nice in it. Um, the guy that he got it from had this car, and he started taking this part right here to do the timing chain because I think what had happened, it had jumped time initially, and uh, so they ended up putting a new head on it, putting new timing components, all that good stuff on it. But when he started tearing this thing apart, he forgot to take a bolt out. And when he started prying it, it ended up cracking across here. And, well, I ended up putting JB Weld on I TIG welded it, and this is the first time I ever TIG welded aluminum successfully, since I just got my TIG welder, you know. But, uh, my buddy ground it down, and maybe went a little, a little too far. I don't know. I just wanted to take extra precaution, throw some of that uh, JB Weld across the front of there. I ordered a new one. It came in, or actually it was used, but, and it was damaged as well. The guy gave me a refund, all that good stuff, but I, we use this one. So, I already put this back on one time, but uh, I don't think it had enough silicone up in here. And we had so much going on that day. My buddy didn't get the bolts tightened in time, so it didn't squish out the silicone how it needed to. So... It ran, it took about five minutes for it to start leaking out, but it come right out of this corner right here. Well, now it's time to crank this thing back up. We went back through everything. I cleaned it super good, changed everything out, made sure it looked nice. And uh, I really put some silicone on this one this time. And to do these properly, you're supposed to drop the oil pan. But uh, I kind of just squeeze it on in there without doing that. That way... Uh, if it does leak at the bottom, no big deal, because I'm going to take the oil pan off later on and check everything out. But right now, we just need to get it running with it's not leaking. So, without further ado, let's crank this thing up. Now, I didn't put this thing all the way back together, and when I when I tore it all apart, you know, you got your, your tensioner and uh, idler and water pump, all that good stuff. I When you're checking something like this, and you want to make sure it don't leak... Don't put it all the way back together. Go on and crank it up where it's at. That way you can do it right here because if you do put it all back together and then it ends up leaking, that's a lot more stuff you have to take apart and it's just going to make you mad. So uh, we're going to go ahead and crank this thing up and make sure it don't leak. And then if it doesn't leak, we'll go ahead and get this thing ready. And uh, I got to glob the parts right here. We also went to um south and picked up an FD. So, uh, we'll show you that one later on. Right now, we're focusing on this. So, let's see if this thing cranks up. Uh, battery may be dead. Always make sure your car is in neutral before you crank up. E brake up. Key to the on position. This used to be a big turbo car. So, neutral safety bypass switch and all that stuff's already passed up. So, come on, baby. It is going to have lifter tick noise, no big deal, uh, needs to be adjusted, I believe it had cams and stuff, uh, he gave me another head that's actually built, but you know, it dropped the bat, it time and chain messed up, so you can imagine what it looks like, but the springs are still good, so, clutch right here and make sure we're not going to leak anywhere, because we're going for a test drive today, and I cannot wait. I hope everything goes smooth, but uh, we can't let it run too long because, you know, battery end up dying, no alternator, and then the water pump right here, so, and I can't 
can sit here and do this fast enough, so we uh we just kinda hope it's not gonna leak. That shiny is just reflection. So far so good, but it did take it four to five minutes last time. I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes and I'll come back to this and we'll see how it does. And if it ends up doing good, I'll shut it down. We'll get the rest of it back together and I'll clean up all this mess over here and uh, get going because they gave me this other bumper and I'll give you a rundown of the car. Well, it's been running for at least four minutes now. Got some condensation smoke in the back. I really hope, I really hope that's not anything else because I ain't gonna walk back there and test it right now because I, I just, I, I, we ain't getting that far into it right now because then I, I have to cry a little bit. But right now, I do not see anything. It is not leaking oil out of there no more. We're going to make that look a little pretty. But uh, let me shut it down. We got something going on right here. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's happening right there. But I'm going to shut this down. Doing fine. I'm going to end up putting the alternator. Getting everything hooked back up. And then we'll get back to it. Well, the smoking from here, I don't know if you can still see the smoke coming out, it's still barreling out, but it's because the seal was missing, so oil was getting past that, going down into the spark plug area, and then, as you can see, the spark plug is drenched, or the coil pack is drenched. So, what I'll do is, we'll check that out here in a few minutes, we'll pull all that up, make sure everything's okay, clean it up, probably gonna have to get a, uh, gasket set and throw on there and uh that will be our next go round as soon as i get this thrown back together because it's no leaky at all down here which is great so one problem at a time and move along from there also let me tell y'all nice little secret i found out on this when i was tearing it apart and i really wish i'd have showed y'all this car from the get-go and everything i haven't done anything to it so you can still see exactly how it is and as we make it better but this uh the idler down there uh not the idler itself not the water pump there, there's the idler of the water pump thing the tensioner you can see that bolt right there i changed it because uh that is a left-handed thread and i was upset when i when i started tearing this apart and couldn't figure out why I didn't want to come off and I didn't read it and I haven't worked on the S2000 in a minute and uh, actually I've never really tore any of them down on that just regular maintenance and stuff on the other ones that we've had so uh, yeah anyways that's the left handed thread so ended up getting it out and then putting the nut and bolt on it and hopefully that works and I'm going to throw this thing back together All right, Terrell made it over here, and we got the valve cover off. And for all you that's not familiar with S2000 stuff, see the way the timing chain goes down through here, and I wish I'd have showed it when I had that open. But all this is new timing chain stuff. The cam gears actually ride on the gear behind that. See right there? And then that, what, turns both of those. So that's how you set the timing and all that good stuff. We're gonna go through and check everything now this was making noise you know the lifter i know i heard it in the beginning but it started clearing up as i let it run for a while so we may not actually mess with that part right now uh i do need to check all the valve lash and all that good stuff but uh i just want to make sure that all these are more than finger tight so uh we're going to clean all this up, put it back on, but let me show you why it was smoking out the valve cover like it was and doing all that crazy stuff. So, 
right here on the inside got the uh, grommets for the coil packs look at this one it was so messed up and uh, I, I just, ugh, we're fixing to pull it out and then this one is also messed up right here and it said AutoZone said it'd take a few days to get this in so I was like oh god so we're gonna try to replace that one and that one with these two because they're in good shape and uh, so we're gonna try to pull those out nice and easy these do look a little different but those are in good shape real good shape there's the wheels on it it's got the private wheels private label by Koenigs I believe is what I looked up yesterday all right so we're having problems getting these things out if you ever have problems getting those daggum uh, rubber grommets out hit them from the top now you better have a replacement because you're gonna tear them up but uh Terrell took it in like that sometimes they get stuck and they're so hard to get out and you got to be very careful because you will tear them i think these two are good i think this is the bad one right here let's flip it and see just to make 100 percent sure uh let's see that one feels good this yep yeah, that one's tore that one's good. All right, we have two good ones that was in the other valve cover. So, yep, that one right there. So let me go ahead and tear it. That way you'll know. All right. Now. No. Right along the top. And you don't beat it like a fucking crazy. So now we can get it all cleaned up good. Now normally I'd go through here and I would go on and paint it all up, make it all nice, but I have no clue what else is gonna happen with this car. We got a jumping house right here for the boys and all that good stuff. It's a big old mess. But hey. We'll get that thing going. We're gonna we're just gonna clean it back up, throw it in there, because we got to see how the car is gonna run. So those two were our problems. Uh, the two new ones I set over there, but I'm gonna grab another set that I have, and then I'll show you in just a second which ones we put in. All right. So the two used ones that we took out of the green valve cover right there ended up working good. So now we have four that is not tore. So when those things are tore, it allows oil to come up and i know any of y'all that's had eight series and stuff like that you know y'all always be replacing stuff because uh oil is always getting the cylinder of those for me it is anyways but uh what it is is yeah see how oily that is and nasty this was actually getting oil all the way up in the spark plug cylinder and what it does is once you start sparking in there it was smoking like smoking smoking so that ain't good that can cause fires that can cause all kind of good stuff that we do not need so we're going to clean these up real good uh probably really shouldn't use brake parts cleaner on them but we're going to uh i might go get some simple green to wipe over them or something because it won't hurt it just don't get it in the electronic part we're just going to get it down here on the cylinders uh once we do that we'll clean the head up set it back down and go from there and see what the next problem is it's how you diagnose cars you just next. Next yeah problem. you just you fix one thing then you go to the next because every time you fix something when you buy a car that is broken and you know it's broken you know i got the car cheap relatively cheap i mean it was you know still it's an s2000 anyways so i'm hoping to have around 10 done in it so that way you know i can make a few thousand bucks off of it but uh if not 15 depending on what i do how much labor i have to put into it it's like i said once we get this thing out i'll show you the damage with the quarter panels where somebody tried to roll the fenders and put these big old tires these these belong on a 350z they just they just ain't the right fitment for this and uh i'm gonna try to trade my buddy caleb caleb if you're watching i need that front end back and then you can have your nice big wheels for your g35 and get them 20s off of there and actually have new tires but uh anyways so we're gonna clean that up get this thing on here see what the next problem is go from there now the car you saw it was smoking earlier i hope that was from condensation we'll see we'll get it together we'll get it outside we'll probably take the top off it's starting to be a pretty day 
and uh, drive it up the road and <laughs> see what happens. All right, we went inside and got us a drink, ate some fruit, and now we let this thing warm up. It quit. Uh, Ugh. Anyways, it quit all that's leaking out from here. All that's doing well now. All the seals around here are doing good. All down here is doing good. No more funny business. But we were getting like some gas smoke coming out of here. I didn't like how that was. That's, that's still hot. But uh, that's not even our problem. So right now the problem is we're checking on the temperature. Let it get up. And it's running hot. Not running hot. It's getting close to running hot. Um this is getting hot hot where you said the bottom one is ice cold. ice cold so one of two things if you're hot up top ice cold on the bottom boom thermostat time so we also got this little bitty stupid drip out of this one right here which that is that is so i don't want the right hose for that that is real little we'll fix all that but we're gonna pull this out here we done got the race car trailer spread out we're gonna hook up to that turn the ac on because it is freaking 90 degrees with a heat index of 102 so it is not feeling good out here can't get enough circulation out in here plus we can't really see what we're doing so we're gonna move it out here get everything ready like we're at the racetrack pull it on through here Get that thermostat out, drain the water, all that good stuff, put the thermostat in it, and go from there. Like I said, one problem to the next. Got to see what's going on. We had a broken timing cover, fix that. Had all messed up gaskets in the valve cover, fix that. Now we're running, idling, and all that stuff's good. Idle air control's doing great. Everything's fine, except we're starting to run hot because ice cold on the bottom, not on the top. Hot, hot, hot on the top. So we're going to get that fixed, and here's a, here's a quick sneak peek of the... Uh, the fd but uh more to come on that way later but let's pull this thing on out and jump into this thermostat oh terrell riding up in the s2k wah, wah. got that limited edition get nuts steering wheel yeah yeah well here it is it is it is nothing much to look at and uh now the headlights on it they were they were kind of new they look good both of them look good i see what i was talking about with these tires how far they stick out these are for 350z's and they're you, know, you can put a wide tire on here but they put the 245s up front and the 235s in the back so it would kind of fit yeah that's just not how it goes so we're gonna try to trade these from a front end back and then uh got some little lip side skirts on there uh i guess we could do we try to do like the i'd love to move these up here that would look cool uh i don't know i'd like to do a bunch of cool stuff on this car but you tell somebody had fender flares in it already and then they tried to roll the fenders and they did not do a good job um but yeah these are just some very I don't know. I don't know. But this is the cool part. We got a yellow trunk. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's not. Anyways. Neochrome tail light. Don't know how. Don't know why. Don't know. Hey, you know. You like what you like. We bought some cool JDM looking ones that are LED. That bumper's all cut up on the bottom. Uh, it does have a header back exhaust. This one's just gone. And uh, same thing over here, got some zip tie action, messed up quarters. We're going to try to fix all that because we're going to wrap this car, make it look pretty, and uh, try to anyways. But hard top, that's a big kicker right there, boy. Now, we will be getting rid of this soft top because you cannot raise the soft top up with the hinges that come in for the hard top. So hard top, full removable, get rid of that thing. That way we can have extra weight saving capabilities and all that good stuff and uh it's it's gonna be pretty cool once it's done it uh yeah they rolled it horribly and it looks like poo poo uh now i've got some fender flares they are not pretty that uh I think they had them on had some on them already. yeah they did and that's oh god 
I'll see if I can find them in a minute. And I'm gonna grab the tail lights. We're gonna put them tail lights in. Uh, that might be a whole nother video to show y'all how to do that. But we also have a good bumper over there. I think off of an AP2. And uh, this is an AP1, a O2 model. And so we're gonna go get that thermostat now and uh, go from there, fix that problem, go to the next. Something else will rear its ugly head later on. Super hot, not hot at all. We'll drain that out when we get back. We're gonna run and get a thermostat for it. All right, so we got the car over here. We got the antifreeze drained out. Drain plugs right down there on the bottom right there, bam. Taking the lower hose off. The thermostat housing is on the bottom and that is some cruddy looking junk right there. Woo! We'll get that all cleaned up, get it back in here. We keep finding more and more broken stuff on this car. And it is, uh, th this, this is one of those things when you buy a car cheap, that's a very expensive car, you know there's gonna be a lot of stuff wrong with it. So, thermostat stuck. You know, multiple things have happened to this car before. Uh, what's the turbo car? They ended up putting another head on it, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna get this thing out, get it cleaned up, it's on the bottom. Quick note to self, if you ever wanna check a thermostat, See that thing right there it's open but i used the heat gun to open it it was bad it took forever for it to open it kept crack lacking making horrible horrible noises and then i finally just kept the heat gun on it and i put it on the front what it was was that rubber was stuck and now that it unstuck it finally unfroze open well the gopro died so we're on stacy's phone now and uh but we did get everything together now that thermostat did go back down and it was stuck like when it was making all that crickling noise i don't even know if i recorded that earlier but when i was heating it up with a heat gun it was crackling real bad would not freaking come unstuck and finally after like a while with the hot hot heat gun it came undone but it went back together but it got it went crooked and it anyways we put a new one on it it works good now it heats up everything works properly flows back around so now no leak on the timing cover got that fixed fix the seals on the coil packs all that sparks and does correctly now um we got all this stuff going good so our thermostat so now we're ready to go for a test drive and that's all we're going to do today because that that's a lot of stuff and i know once you start when you buy a car like this it's always something it's going to come apart it's going to when it's in pieces and not finished you're gonna have a lot of stuff you gotta do. So either way, once you get this stuff going, it, uh, it makes you feel better when it starts working right. Now this one, it, uh, we're still tons of way away from having it done. Uh, got a lot of stuff we're gonna work on with this. We'll do the tail lights in another video because there's other stuff wrong back there and I'll show you and get into that as well. But uh, we're gonna go for the test drive. Hopefully we'll make it there and back and uh hopefully everything go good but until the next video we'll get you on this test drive and uh we'll see you next time thanks for watching hit that subscribe button see you later well, we're gonna put this freaking steer wheel back on you gotta put that bitch on straight now that's straight as it's getting right now wheel to turn to the right we got the the wire band working wire to come disconnected terrell put this awesome filter on right here check that out got the battery bungee tied down got the fans working they kind of just come on beforehand everything's working pretty okay so it is time to finally go up the road and uh so without further ado let's roll oh my goodness gracious ow 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 s2000 engaged key on fans are already on neutral crank come on now don't be giving me none of that one 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 stuff you know what we didn't check the oh. nah, it's got good oil the the battery voltage we're going in down down here we go now that lifter tick we will fix that in the next couple of days just to see how this thing goes I know these tires are gonna rub everywhere. Oh Lord, we're probably gonna scrub. I'm just glad everything is kind of working how it's supposed to. Oh, oh yeah, we scrub the tire. Oh, oh. All right, the steering wheel's halfway straight. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord.
think it's funny. They all smiling and waving at us. 